This is Supersonic by Bally from 1979. Uh, when I got this machine, uh, the playfield was absolutely burned up through the center. So this is all new paint on the playfield. Uh, it's all clear coated and restored. Um, everything you see here is, is new and it plays great. Um, and these are the new rules for this machine. So when you plunge the ball, uh, in supersonic now you're in the lobby of the airport there's a skill shot on lane one for ball one passenger one now boarding flight one two four service to london Heathrow at gate one use jet stream to take off and depending on what lane you uh, go into that's what flight you're going to take so there's five stages to each flight the first stage is the takeoff and you take off with the Jet stream lane, which is the lane on the left there that I almost got. The other way you can uh, get past legs uh, with the way it's set right now is um, you can finish the drop targets like I just did, and that will spot you a, a leg of the flight. So now I'm in final approach for my first flight. So I just need to use the saucer there to. Uh, finish my first flight. So all progress is saved. When you start the second ball, you're going to be right where you left off. Please return to your seat for our final approach. Use the saucer to land. Gate open for duration of ball. So the gate has different settings on it. Now uh, the gate that returns the ball to the shooter lane. Jackpot. So there's a one flight done, and I get a jackpot for that. To collect your miles, you have to hit the center target, and I just did that. The other thing with the center target is if you hit that at the end of the, uh, during the frequent flyer miles, it will automatically start the next flight you need. So I needed, I still need flight two, so that's what started when I hit the center target. So same bit, um, I have to take off with the left lane there, the rollovers in the left lane. Or I could spot the leg uh, by either completing the drop targets or by completing the numbers. This time I'm going to the lane, I'm just going to get the lane to get the um, takeoff. Nope. I lied to you. I finished the numbers, uh, so then that lit up the cruising, which was the spinner. Reaching cruising altitude, Captain Walter requests that all passengers return to their seats. So now I've got drop target to uh, do approach. Please return to your jackpot. And I immediately got the jackpot with the finishing the flight with the saucer. Center target's lit. You see that. The bonus is counting down in the score display. So I finished the second flight. And because I did it with the center target, and it automatically started flight three. So otherwise, I could have started flight one again, and I don't need flight one. So it's nice to use the center target if you can, because uh, if you use the center target, you're going to get the next flight that you need. You don't have to mess around doing the same flight twice. So I just finished my approach on flight three. I think. Oh, the the legs also get progressively harder as you go along here. So. Um, uh, where I only needed one drop target to finish the approach uh, and flight one, I needed two for flight two and three for flight flight three. Please return to your seats for our final approach. So now I'm uh, finished my approach. I just need to get my saucer to land. So you also see that there's playfield multipliers. Every time you finish numbers or you finish drop targets, you're going to get a playfield multiplier that lasts for, I think, 30 seconds. And you can build them up, so you can go up to 5x playfield. So 
so I'm doing flight four now. You might hear a wind sound effect every now and again. If you uh, go over the center rollovers, you start the wind speed, or you increase the wind speed, and eventually you get to turbulence mode, which is like a um, switch frenzy. So I need the spinner to get cruising. And I try to guide you around the play field uh, to the next objective with the lights, but you'll also hear on the first flight, uh, you might have heard the um, call outs uh, telling you what the next. Captain, you to request that you return to your seat and fasten seat belts now. To tell you what the next uh, shot you needed was. So now I've got my approach mostly done. Uh, I think I need one more target or two more targets. Valley drops, especially at this angle, can be hard to hit. So that was a good ball. Uh, I got most of uh, four flights done. After you finish five flights, um, it takes you into a tour around the world. Uh, then there's other um, feature expedition flights uh, when you finish uh, 10 flights, 15 flights, 20 flights. Um, those are mostly um, you know, little uh, mini wizards with uh, switch frenzies. Um, big points there. Uh, I'm not gonna get to one of those in this video. Still trying to finish flight four here. So I lost my uh, second camera. Um, so we're just going to look at the play field for the rest of the video here. But it's not going to be very long because then I drained my ball through. So a decent score. Um, that was my personal best since I reset the scores on this machine. Um, but the real score, uh, scoring opportunities is in the, um, uh, you know, the wizards and, and such. So really going to um, score a lot of points if you if you get, uh, you know, five flights done, ten flights done, that kind of thing. Turbulence is also a good scoring opportunity. Uh, it's not easy to get into because you have to get the wind speed very high. Uh, and, and there's some tricky stuff in there. Uh, there's some interesting Easter eggs in this uh, uh, game that I put in. So this unit's going to my mom. Uh, she's always wanted a pinball machine, but um, we're finally going to make that happen. So I hope she enjoys it as much as uh, as I did. I, she loves playing it here, so I think she will. And if you uh, set up yours to play this, I hope you post a video, and I hope you uh, uh, like playing it as much as I liked working on it.